Joining us on The Breakfast Club this morning, probably the coolest guest ever. We have Lee Bryce, Grammy nominee, <laughs> ACM award winner. The list really goes on and on and on. Me crazy, girl. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Absolutely, darling. So you're playing at the Otter Creek Event Center at Black Bear Casino. Do you remember the last time you were in Minnesota? I know you travel all the time, but... Yeah, actually, I was actually there uh, a couple of months ago, and I went I went on a lake, and I went fishing, you know, one of the... How many lakes y'all got? 10,000 or something? I think more than that, even. <laughs> a lot. Yeah, and I caught, I caught my first walleye and my first smallmouth. I've been largemouth bass fishing my whole life. But I never caught a walleye, and I caught a huge walleye and a huge smallmouth bass. So they're getting they're getting mounted right now, so it's cool. It's funny you mention that because I caught my first walleye last weekend, but um, I'd accidentally, <laughs> I accidentally let it go, so I, I keep catching some flat ground here for that. <laughs> That's okay. That was my bad. So let's talk about a song that we're for sure going to be hearing at your show, I'm sure, your new single called Rumor. Oh, yeah. How did that song come to be? You know, I was actually, uh, I was writing a song about my, you know, kind of just simple song about, you know, how quick stuff gets around in a small town, you know. And and I figured, you know, well, it's a lot about my, my hometown. And then, you know, probably like most little small towns that, you know, rumors get around quick. And then I thought to myself, well, I guess... Uh, I guess the whole world is a small town now <laughs> with social media and yes. all the stuff that goes on. It's like everybody knows everything immediately. So maybe rumor is bigger than just a small town. Who knows? <laughs> so your wife is in the video. I want to know, did you have yeah. to convince her to be in it? Because I feel like, you know, you're used to being in front of the camera. She's not. Did you have to talk her into it or was she okay you, with it? You know what? I actually thought I was going to have to talk her into it. And so I called her and said, hey, so they have an idea, you know, for you to be in the video, you know, to, you know, like be in a bathtub and like kind of be kind of cool and sexy and blah, blah, blah. And I thought I was going to have to convince her or get a stand in double or something, you know, and she was like, I'm in. Like she was ready to do it. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, she had actually she had a lot of fun. She had a really she really did have a lot of fun. And. You know, it's like, I guess, you know, she she's just like, I love getting dressed up. I love getting out of the house. And she's always there with all three kids. And she's always just working. And, and uh, it just, it was fun to get out with her. And it was almost like our date night, you know. A country music date night. Have your wife be in the music video. I love it. <laughs> so aside from hearing rumors tonight, what else can we expect from your show? Oh, man. Well, I love to, I love to kind of keep it dynamic and like a roller coaster ride, you know, and and uh, so we'll come out hitting hard, and, and uh, you never know. I might hang my feet and my boots off the end of the stage and just play an acoustic guitar for a while, you know. And uh, uh, But we, we I've got the, the same band I've had for uh, going on 11 years now, and so we have a great time every night on stage. And so that hopefully that, that, that trans, you know, transcends you know, to everybody else. Absolutely, and we love country music so much here in the Northland. <laughs> yeah. Otter Creek Event Center tonight at Black Bear Casino, and thank you so much for joining us, and we look forward to the show. Absolutely, darling. I'll see you soon.